let's focus on calibrations for Sona Wall 70. Calibrations can be found in Test Preparation menu entry. You can choose between one point calibration, two point calibration, probe delay calibration, sound velocity calibration, or enter the block reference points to the block database for future use. One point calibration requires a block with only one thickness step of, for example, 2.5 millimeters or 7.5 millimeters. This calibration method is perfect for single element probe calibrations that don't have any roof angle and therefore won't need to be corrected for the so-called V-path error. The two-point calibration is suitable for single or for dual element probes. This calibration requires a step block with minimum two different steps, for example, 2.5 millimeters and 10 millimeters. When dual element probes are calibrated with two different steps, the V-path error of the beam is corrected within these two points of calibration. Probe delay calibration is meant for the probes with delay lines. This calibration allows you to set the zero point of the measurement at the end of the delay line automatically. Sound velocity calibration is used for obtaining a sound velocity with given delay of the probe. By choosing Calibration Block Database, you can set reference points for your calibration task. In order to perform a two-point calibration, go back to the menu. Choose Test Preparation, Calibration, and set our two points of reference. In our example, we choose 5 mm as first point and 12.5 mm for the second point. Confirm the setup and enter the function two-point calibration. Move the probe to the first point on the block. Move the gate to select first echo. Set it by pressing next. Move the probe to the second point on the test block. Move the gate to select first echo. Set it by pressing done. The calibration performs automatically. To double check your calibrations, measure the steps between two reference points which you have used for calibration before. In order to perform a V-path error correction, go back to the menu and choose Test Preparation, Test Options, V-path Error Correction, New V-path Correction Curve. Two-point calibration with dual element probes is always precise in small measuring ranges due to the construction of the probe. Therefore, to improve the readings in a wider range, we can perform V-path correction up to 10 measuring points. Save your measuring points for future use. As soon as you have set up a V-path curve, you will be able to activate it and use it with matching transducers. In order to activate the V-path curve, press Activate V-path Correction, and the symbol V will appear on the screen. Ultrasound is our strength.